Hi, I'm Doug Newcomb, Vice President of Genetics and Technology for the National Swine Registry, also known as the NSR. We are the Performance Pedigree Breed Association for American Duroc Hampshire land racing Yorkshire pigs. We are also a proud member of U.S. Livestock Genetics Export, USLGE. The NSR's membership is comprised of internationally known, privately owned, purebred breeding stock suppliers, AI centers, and exporters. Our genetic supplying members have spent decades using cutting edge technology to make dramatic genetic improvement. Improvement which is available to their domestic and international clientele. The Swine Testing and Genetic Evaluation System, or STAGES, provided by the NSR utilizes member reproductive and performance data to calculate genetic merit for traits of economic importance. The membership takes those results back to the farm to make selection decisions, decisions that ultimately maximize their customer's bottom line. NSR members provide these genetically superior animals in a high health package available for shipment to all parts of the globe. Maintaining high health isn't always easy, but is a necessary step in providing advanced genetics. And with the pressure from both governments and consumers to reduce the use of antibiotics on farm, vaccination against disease has become even more important. I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Heap Vu, Assistant Professor and Respiratory Disease Virologist from the University of Nebraska at Lincoln to discuss implementation of on-farm vaccination programs. My name is Hip Wu. I am a swine virologist at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Today, I will share with you a few tips that may help you to design an optimal vaccination protocol for your farm. As you know, different farms will have different management style, different pig flows, and different disease pressure. Therefore, one vaccination protocol will not work for all farms. There are four important points you should consider when developing a vaccination protocol. First, you should determine what vaccines your pigs need. Disease prevalence is not the same everywhere. There are some diseases that widely affect one country, but not the others. For instance, foot and mouth disease is affecting many countries in Asia, but not in the United States. And therefore, FMD vaccine is mandated in several Asian countries. But this vaccine is not used in the United States. In addition, pigs at different age might be susceptible to different diseases. There are some diseases that are affecting South, but not finishing pigs. Similarly, there are diseases that are affecting nursery but not adult pigs. How would you determine what vaccine you should vaccinate your pig? First, you should consult with your local swine veterinarian to learn more about disease prevalence in your area. Importantly, you should review your farm record and determine what was the disease that affected your farm in the past years. What was the age of the animal that was affected? Many swine diseases have similar clinical signs. Therefore, it is important that you partner with a reliable diagnostic lab to obtain an accurate diagnosis. Knowing the unique disease pressure that your farm is facing will help tailor the vaccination protocol that works best for your farm. Second, you should determine when will be the best time to vaccinate your pigs. For convenience, many swine producers often want to administer own vaccines to the piglet before winning. However, there are some diseases that often occur at the finishing stage. For those diseases, you might want to vaccinate your pig at older age to ensure that they will have full protection throughout their production life. Diseases such as E. coli and PEDV often occur during the nursery stage. For those diseases, you may want to vaccinate your pregnant sow before farrowing. This will help the sow transfer antibody to their piglet, which will protect the piglet during the nursery stage. It should be noted that maternal antibody may interfere with the animal response to vaccination. 
Therefore, if you vaccinate yourself before farrowing, you may consider delay vaccination of your piglet until the level of maternal antibody decline. Always follow the label directions for the vaccines you are using in your farm. Some vaccines may require more than one dose. Be sure to apply enough vaccine doses so that your animal will have optimal level of immunity. Pig must be healthy at the time of vaccination. If your pigs have any signs of illness, postpone the vaccination until they fully recover. Third, you should determine if the vaccine can be combined. Vaccination is a time-consuming process. Therefore, you should look for the possibility of combining multiple vaccines into one single shot. Alternatively, you should choose to use a multivalent vaccine. This will help eliminate the need for multiple injections. It will also reduce stress to the animal and save the time spent on vaccination. Last but not least, you should review your farm biosecurity plan. Vaccination is important to protect animal health, but it cannot replace biosecurity. You should implement a strict biosecurity plan to prevent the introduction of pathogen into your farm. Finally, you should maintain a well record of your farm production figures, disease incident. It will help evaluate the effectiveness of your vaccination protocol. It will also help identify disease problem so that you can modify the vaccination protocol to fix it. I'm Dr. Wu at University of Nebraska Lincoln. If you need additional information, contact me at this email address or visit uslge.org. Thanks for watching.